Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use Sunroot package to do the fitting. And this is the structure of this tutorial series. So uh, there are a couple files I will talk about. And the first one would be the very basic fit that will show you how to use the TF1 object and to use the the T graph and T uh, TH1 like TH1 app, TH1D, something like this. Uh, the built-in fit function to do the just a basic fit here. We also will discuss some basic option for setting up the fitting, like you have boundary for your parameters, or you want to fix uh, some parameters. Then we will discuss another way to set up the uh, formula. That, that means the TF1. Then we will try a little bit further away from 1D to 2D case. And then we will talk about TF2 uh, formula in 2D here. Um, then we will certainly go higher dimension, but it's not always easy. And in this case, we go to the 3D first. And since we don't have TGRAB 3D class, because, you know, uh, TGRAB 2D already in XY, uh, Z, so you you definitely cannot have T grab 3D. That would be four dimension because the X Y Z and value will be a T H uh, T grab 2D here. But we do have T H 3 class, so you still can use T H 3 class to the uh, built-in fit function to apply fit. But here we will talk about a little bit different method uh, and the introduction the uh, data. A bean data class. That's a very u useful class for gathering the data for even for higher dimension. We're talking about wrap multi uh, TF1 and uh, filter and fit result class. Okay, uh, this is the way to use a root uh, root fit the, this namespace tool here to do the fitting. Then I will talk about using the class of uh, tmuit class to do the same thing. So the concept will be a little bit different. So you will write your own chi-square function and to let the feature to minimize by your chi-square function. So I will separate it to two parts. First, just a very simple, just explain how it works. So we will revisit a case that's the most commonly used, that's just single Gaussian fit. Now, in a part two, we will go higher dimension. Now, it's a four dimension, and you just fit the function with a four variable and three parameters. And finally, I will discuss a little bit uh, rare case, but sometimes still uh, quite useful in the fitting part is the uh, um, T multi-dimension fit. Uh, T multi, how can I say that? T multi um, fit, okay. Anyway, so this is a class that you don't know the model you want you, you, to, uh, to your pro problem. So the, the this class will select the basis like uh, the basis for you and determine which term could be more uh, sensitive to your fitting model. So this is very, very different um, the, the concept to the, do the fitting. Okay, so I will cover this part yet. Um, if you also interested in another fitting process called the artificial neural network analysis, I already covered that before. Uh, it's not by TMVA class, but you still can use the T multi-layer perceptron class to do this. And you can go to the, this YouTube link here. So um, I think that's just the general, general introduction about this tutorial structure. And if you uh, use the Gaussian fit very often, I would recommend you try to use the the package I created called the root scope to, to do it. It's quite useful. Alright, so let's go, st let's start it. <laughs> okay.